Hi everyone, this is Gigi. Today is September 14th, 2014, and I am here today to do a Brighton Purse collection video. I promised this some time ago and I'm finally feeling really a lot better and have more energy. So today's the day. Let's start with this little one in the first in the front. This is the first um that Brighton purse that I ever purchased. It's a little organizer that has a thin strap that you can use as a crossbody. This little bag holds a lot. This is like a wallet on the outside and this holds my iPhone 5 easily. And then there's a compartment in here and then there's even a slip pocket on the back. Cute, cute little bag that holds a lot and is great for those times when you want your hands free. Now this one over here is a cherry red winter purse that um, I absolutely love to just pull out every once in a while, especially at Christmas time to carry, uh, just because sometimes in the winter things get a bit drab and it's just kind of fun to have a bright pretty purse like that. This also is an organizer so you don't have to put a wallet inside. Um, there are lots of organizational features on the inside slip pockets, pockets, zippers. And if you're not familiar with Vera Bradley, they are kind of famous for their little charms and uh, embellishments that they have. Like there's a, there's one here that hangs. And then um, the findings many times are uh, of jewelry quality, like much of their jewelry. Here is another one. This is in a teal green. This is a hobo's type bag that um, I carry quite frequently in the winter. Um, it's another great little piece of color that you can pull out every once in a while. And again, you'll notice the embellishments on it. They are very nice. And I enjoy this bag a lot, a lot. Okay, now this is my winter bag from last year. I purchased, I've recently started just in the last couple of years purchasing a Brighton bag at the beginning of spring and at the beginning of fall. Um, they're more expensive, so I don't purchase nearly as many of these as I do of, say, Vera Bradley. Um, this is the one I had last year. It's a winter white. It is from the My Flat in London line. And um, I love the inside of this. It has its little dust cover in there, but it's a very pretty pink. And I really enjoyed carrying last year, especially my Mocha Rouge um, wallet and accessories with it. It looked really great. Now, when I purchased this bag, this was the first bag that I purchased and I registered with Brighton. And one of the things that they do when you register it um, is that they will clean your bag. And you can actually have it shipped off. You take it back to the store and they will ship it off wherever Brighton's headquarters are. I'm not sure where that is. And they will clean it and they will send it back to your home, which I think is great. I wiped this purse down really good, but there were several pieces, several things on here that I couldn't get off. So I'm going to be sending it off. And uh, if you'd like to know how that goes, just let me know and I'll put up another video. But this is, like I said, from the My Flat in London line. And uh, I like it a lot. This you can hang charms from. That's what that's intended for on there. Although I think it looks great just the way it is. Here is another bag from My Flat in London. I got this one actually at the beginning of this spring. It was from last year's My Flat in London, and I think it's so cute with the black, the snake skin, and the teal. And um, I like it just to carry with the handles like that. I haven't carried it yet, but I think it would be cute that way. But it also came with a thin crossbody strap. So isn't it cute? Oh, I just love it. I just love it. And again, the embellishments on it look so nice. And over here is the key to my flat in London. <laughs> just an adorable bag. Just really loving it. Now, this past spring, the bag, here is the bag that I purchased this past spring. It's here. Oh, I brought this box out so that you could see. This is how they come in a box like this with a, uh, like a silk cord handle. And then over on the side here, it has a picture of what is inside so that I stack these in my closet so I can just take a glance at that and I know which purse it is without having to pull the bag out. Okay, so this is the purse that I got and I carried this off and on from spring all through summer. And it is kind of a woven, uh, it's, I don't think it's straw, it feels heavier than straw. And again, the embellishments on it 
there's the heart they're kind of famous for and there's jewelry type embellishments on it there was nothing on the back it was plain on the back inside um there's zipper pocket and several slip pockets but i read this one was just a little bit small for me but i still enjoyed it i still really enjoyed it carrying it this summer and i got a lot of compliments on it as well Okay, the last purse that I have here, I actually have another summer purse, but my daughter borrowed it to go on a trip. This is the purse that I purchased for this winter, uh, this fall and winter, and it's a very pretty brown, and I'm just, I've carried it now since, uh, uh, for about a week now, and I am really enjoying it very much. Um, it is an organizer purse so that you don't have to necessarily carry a wallet, and I don't when I do this because everything that I would fit in my wallet goes right in here. The only thing I, you have to be careful about on this one is that you don't stuff it too full because there is a magnetic closure. Sorry for the camera work there. It has a magnetic closure, and that will easily come open if you put too many things in here. So I try not to put anything over and above uh, my cell phone and some papers in there. And uh, just enjoying this one. It holds a lot. I currently have in here. I've got quite a few things in here. I have, I have a small makeup bag. I have a tech case. I have a coin purse. And then I have several loose things in there as well. So I've really been enjoying that. Now, real quickly, I thought I would just show you my wallets as well. This is my oldest wallet. It's a red, dark red. It's darker than that other one. Small wallet. This one I just recently purchased to go in some of my smaller purses. This is a, the same style, only larger. Anyway, I didn't want to get into the wallets too much because this was supposed to be a purse video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you, and thank you for hanging with me through this difficult time. I hope you're having a great early fall. This is Gigi. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.